Data collaboratives offer so much potential for helping us solve important world problems. Data collaboratives are mechanisms that allow organizations to share data in secure, transparent, and ethical ways. When you think about the organizations that do want to contribute into solving that problem, for them, being able to govern who has access to their data, how it's used, how it's not used, becomes incredibly important. A data collaborative is governed by its members. And sometimes, data collaboratives include independent third-party organizations that help ensure the data collaborative is indeed sharing data in ways that abide by the transparency, security, and ethical guidelines. We have an opportunity with a data commonwealth to really build confidence in each of the participating organizations that their data is gonna be used in the way they intended. And the legal process of developing the contracts around the commonwealth play a large role in setting those expectations. The Fred Hutchison Cancer Research Institute has a great example of a data commonwealth. To share the knowledge from research happening all over the world, what Fred Hutchison is able to do is collect those data from the research institutions, put them into a common place, and share them with other researchers. And the goal is actually to use data to accelerate the discovery of cures for cancer. No one organization can have the desired impact alone. You really need cooperation. You need folks working together, whether they're nonprofits, whether it's public sector, whether it's social enterprise. Everybody's got a role to play in solving some of our most complex problems. And a data commonwealth really becomes the, the structure by which that collaboration can happen.